and we're back with a new video. Uh, so what I'm going to be showing this video then. Uh, there's 25 different things you can add to your houses. Uh, if you just looking at fill rooms, always want something to add really. So when we start off then, uh, most of us inside our houses then, uh, we build the standard stuff like our kitchen, bathroom, living room and our bedroom. They tend to be the main ones people start with. But hopefully then when I go through this video, you'll think of a couple more that you haven't actually thought of. And if you didn't know then, well, then it's already been a successful video for me. But yeah, hopefully you find a couple. And uh, starting off then, so I suppose we've got a science lab and a treasure room. Uh, they're both pretty cool things. But I'm guessing uh, you're not going to be too poor if you've got a treasure room inside your house. So I suppose it wouldn't be a surprise to me if you had an indoor swimming pool or a home cinema as well. Uh, ideally though, if it was me, what I would build is an ice ring. I'd love to have an ice ring inside the house. That would be pretty awesome. But if you just want something a bit wacky then, uh, what you could build is a pig racing track or a football pitch. Uh, it's going to fill up a lot of space and you're definitely going to need a ridiculous sized house for them. Uh, but nonetheless, you can still stick them inside your house. Unfortunately though, not all of us have a big enough space for a pig racing track or a football pitch. So something a bit more reasonable now that you can stick in pretty much most houses uh, as a library or a storage room. Because both of these you can just adjust the size to and you can fit them in most buildings. But apart from that though, uh, it seems we mentioned our storage room. We could talk about a couple more survival things. Now, there's actually so many things you could do for this, so I'm just going to mention a couple. Uh, but starting off then with your enchantment room, because mobs did get a lot harder in 1.9, uh, so we want to build good enchantments uh, for our weapons because it makes our life so much easier. Apart from this, though, you've got stuff like your crafting room and your furnace, and they all help basically with your survival needs. Oh, and also you can build a vault to keep all your stuff safe from mobs. That's quite important as well. But a couple more things is your waste room to get rid of all your stuff. Because uh, I know I have a lot of unwanted stuff like your cobblestone and stuff like that when you actually strip mining. But if you find for some reason that you haven't got enough cobblestone, I always do personally. Uh, but if you don't, uh, you can always build a cobblestone generator to get more of it. So I think we've covered all like the main ones now to help you survive. One actually section we haven't actually thought of is our farms. Now again, same as survival, there's so many things you could do for this. But I'm just going to list three of them. So you've got your wheat farm, like your pumpkin farm and your cacti farm. Again, there's so many things you could do for this, so I've only mentioned three. Uh, I could actually fill the whole list. So I think we've covered all the main ones now, but one other room you could add uh, is a trophy room. Just to show off all your achievements, like for instance getting the Ender Dragon, uh, which you can show off to all your mates when they actually come around and visit your house. But if you did want to be a bit cheeky, uh, when you actually invite all your mates around it, instead of taking them to the trophy room, you could always take them to a trap room, which just drops them in lava or something like that. Sand drops on their head. Again, there's so many options for this. But the last one then is a portal room, and it's pretty much a good one to finish off on because uh, that's 25 things uh, you can actually build in your house. Again, uh, some of these you're going to need quite a big space for, like the pig racing track, so you can't rebuild this in like a 5x5 house or something. But even still, I hope you did get an idea of something you haven't thought of in a while or just something different uh, you can actually build in your house. And if you did, uh, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I hope you enjoyed.